Hello guys, um, uh, this is Stardust, uh, uh, Cosmic Stardust here, um, and I wanted to do a little uh, video review on the uh, black uh, retro uh, joystick uh, that I picked up from uh, Arcade Forge. Um, it's got really nice uh, black acrylic uh, top and a bottom to it with this wood uh, side and two uh, 24 millimeter buttons and believe it or not uh, they managed to s cram a uh, full scale um, Sanwa uh, joystick in there and um, I must admit it works uh, pretty well um, it's a lot nicer than the original um, joysticks uh, by Atari um, not quite as uh, nice as this uh, custom uh, gigantic uh, jalopy that I've built uh, a couple of years ago and have uh, made additions to over the years, but um, that's another story. Um, I think it's pretty affordable, uh, 59 euros, um, and there's a couple of build issues that I'm going to get into a little bit later, but uh, first uh, let's um, give it a little play test um, so I'm going to zoom in here come on now there we go turn on the TV plug in the um, Plug in the console. Um, I'm going to go over here down to Homebrew and Scramble. So, um, as you can see, I'm holding it with my uh, with my right in my le in the palm of my hand, with my thumb on the button, just like you would a uh, traditional Atari stick, and uh, let's get started. see the movement is really nice. Um, it's responsive. Um, I think the uh, stock sandwas are a bit loose um, uh, straight from the factory, but uh, they can be modded uh, to get a lot more uh, tighter controls with an oversized actuator and uh, octagon gates and other things. But, as we can see here, it's just the uh, stock uh, factory gate. So, um, anyway, I'm going to turn this off. And uh, let's open this uh, bad boy up and see what's inside, shall we? So I've got my, uh, my flathead screwdriver. Um, there are a couple of minor build issues uh, with this joystick, uh, but overall I was very uh, impressed with it. Um, oops, excuse me. Um, so as you can see here, the, um, the inside's been milled out with a router. Um, it's just standard uh, plywood. Um, the finish is a little bit rough. Um, I think they could have uh, sanded this down a little bit to uh, finish it. But uh, the bigger issue right here is the, um, the cable, which is a standard um, extension cable. Um, not much different than the ones that I've been using on my arcade controllers. But um, if you notice right here, there's nothing to uh, secure the uh, cable in place. 
it can move and um, twist and uh, I think that could be a potential uh, failure point uh, if this cable twists inside of this hole um, it could eventually uh, stress these tiny little wires and um, cause uh, breakage so I'm gonna be um, I'm gonna uh, try to sand and uh, finish this wooden uh, surface on the outside and um, probably put a nice glob of uh, hot glue in there to secure the cable so that it doesn't uh, move and wiggle anywhere and of course we see the uh, Sanwa gate uh, which you can uh, you can take that off and uh, modify it uh, upgrade the uh, joystick however you see fit so um, as you can see there's not a lot of uh, room really um, inside the joystick and these are um, 24 millimeter buttons instead of the traditional uh, full size uh, 28 or 30 uh, millimeter and um, it's not bad but uh, you know it's definitely uh, much nicer than uh, what we had uh, back in the day and you can't really go wrong for uh, uh, 59 euros although um, international shipping is a little bit pricey but uh, so I'm gonna um, I am going to um, I'm gonna uh, work on this a little bit and um, get it uh, fixed up and fix that uh, cable and uh, I'll report back to you thanks for watching Hey guys, it's me again. Um, as you can see here, I've got the uh, I've got the uh, wood part, and you can tell the way it's been routed, and it has these little nuts in it. Um, I've gone ahead and sanded it down with uh, with a sanding pad. Um, I started out with 150. I went all the way up to uh, 600 grit, which is what this is right here. It's almost smooth, almost like silk. And the um, end result, I'm not sure if the camera can focus here, yeah, it's just, it's just baby smooth, baby smooth all the way around, and um, I don't know if you can really tell, but it's almost got like a, a kind of a, a shine to it, but um, I was debating whether to uh, finish it uh, with um, with finish or just leave it leave the wood um, all natural. I haven't decided yet, but um, when I get this thing put back together, I'm gonna make a couple little modifications to the joystick and put the uh, put the uh, hot glue in there to uh, secure the cable. Um, until next time. Okay, well, here it is. Finished product. Um, I've, uh, I've put stain on it. Hold on, wait for the camera to focus. And um, I'm just gonna sit it right here and uh, wait for, uh, wait for the uh, Wait for it to dry, um, and then I'm going to assemble it back together. Get that little uh, hot glue plug in there so the cable doesn't uh, twist around, and um, I think that'll be that'll do it. Maybe put a sweet octagon gate in the um, JLF or a circle. Haven't decided yet. Um, this is a uh, cosmic stardust. Uh, with um, improvements to the Arcade Forge uh, Black uh, Classic Joystick. Um, I'll uh, see you back with you shortly uh, for the final pro finished product. Uh, thanks for watching. Hey guys, um, it's me again. Um, I've finished uh, my joystick. Um, and. Um, as you can see here, the uh, I've got the stain finish. I had to let it, uh, had to let it give it about uh, 48 hours to uh, cure. So you can see the uh, shine on it. 
um, is really nice now. Just just absolutely smooth and even the uh, stain really makes the colors uh, pop out in the um, in the uh, wood. Um, but uh, I wanted to show you um, wanted to show you here. Let me take these out. Come on. Um, what I've done to secure the uh, cable. Um, I've taken uh, right here. Let it focus. Come on. Focus. Focus. Um, you can see right here where I've glued, I've taken a hot glue gun and glued that cable um, in there and um, that is, see that is not going anywhere. I don't have to worry about this cable twisting uh, inside the housing or getting any little kinks in it and um, this is what they should have done uh, when they shipped it um, and they could have sanded the uh, wood uh, not necessarily stain it or finish it like I did but um, they could have sanded this surface uh, to make it a little smooth and uh, comfortable to the touch and um, secured the uh, the joystick cable so that it won't uh, it won't tug on the uh, little wires so let's see um, so uh, final thought um, overall it's a really nice uh, joystick um, I gotta give them um, A for effort um, probably a C a C plus C, uh, C on um, on the uh, execution uh, like I said because uh, because this uh, this would really be a failure point so um if you uh, if you purchase one of these sticks from uh, arcadeforge.de, uh, de, um, just know that you know to get it to get it perfect, uh, it's going to require a little bit of modding um, and uh, stuff. And the edges um, the edges of the acrylic um, it's a little bit sharp. But um, not too bad. It's not too uncomfortable. Once the uh, once once they sand this down and uh, get rid of that roughness that uh, the joystick shipped with, um, it feels really nice, and um, I have no complaints. Um, one thing I did do was um, I ordered a uh, I ordered a circle and an octagon gate. Um, I thought I had a couple of spare gates in a parts uh, drawer, but I couldn't find them, so I ordered some more. Um, I may go with the circle on this one since I already put my octagon in uh, one of the uh, cigar box controllers. Um, but uh, I just wanted to uh, give you guys a review and. Um, um, and a half, half a thumb up, I guess, uh, because um, because like I said, the uh, the roughness and the um, and the lack of uh, support on the um, on the joystick cable. Um, so uh, thoughts, uh, comments, um, uh, likes. Uh, down below and I'll have a link to um, people if uh, you want to uh, purchase um, an Arcade Forge uh, controller or um, 
or um, I'm going to be, uh, I've built some, uh, if you saw my other video about the cigar boxes, um, it's still, uh, it's still going. Um, I just lacked to uh, build the uh, wire harnesses um, and um, hopefully I'll be able to sell some uh, cigar boxes on Atari Age. But um, until then, uh, until next time, uh, thank you uh, for watching. And um, this is the uh, this is the cl classic black uh, joystick uh, from Arcade uh, Forge with um, with modifications. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.